my camera isn't picking this up, but this top is literally the perfect green for Slytherin, and I am here for it. I'm even wearing Slytherin socks. No, I won't show you because I can't put my feet above my head. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. So today I'm carrying on with the Harry Potter build challenges, and in this one, the tiny house is going to be Slytherin, if you couldn't tell by the little box around me, by my clothes. Time to get dark. <laughs> I feel like we all have a Slytherin in us. Slytherin is my second house and I actually did the Harry Potter quiz the other day, the new one, and it said I was Slytherin and I was like, a Gryffindor. Oh, this house is cute. Wait, did I build this? Oh, I did. Oh, nice. Goodbye. <laughs> so this is where my Slytherin house is going to be. If you can see there in the tiny corner, that is my Gryffindor house. It's on the gallery if you want to go check it out. We shall start with a box. Yes, I do want to save the box. You never know. So obviously the Slytherin house is located in the dungeon and I know this might be a bit much but for all the you know Harry Potter extreme fans when you're in the Slytherin common room they can look out and see the dark lake and I think I well I mean it's the same it's not perfect but there is a lake and there's going to be windows and they can see out into the dark lake in my mind so that is a win. <laughs> what traits can this lot have actually? So it's dark energy it's cursed and gremlins. Yeah this will do for Salazar Slytherin he can be chilling right there. <laughs> yes I am putting flowers in because you know what Slytherin still like flowers even though they're not you know they're not all evil okay there's some great people in there. I feel like this house is gonna have real fancy vibes you know Slytherins like to dress well they like to make a good appearance and I feel like this house is gonna be like that. Is anyone else in love with Draco Malfoy slash Tom? Maybe just little? <laughs> It's okay, you can admit it here, it's a safe place. Everyone loves a bad boy, don't they? Am I going overboard with Ivy? Yeah, 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 why not? Look, they even had a green ladder, like, oh, love that. The cauldron of excellency. They would definitely have one of them. <laughs> okay, cute, the back is finished and look how pretty it looks at night time. Oh my god, beautiful. Right, let's move on into the house. Has this house got a really weird layout? Yes, <laughs> but I actually really like the way I did it. Oh, we could go dark marble to the floor. Oh my god, that's actually beautiful. Right, we need the perfect green. Ooh, okay, that is close enough. I mean, it is the Sims, so got to keep that in mind. I don't think perfect, but it'll do. So I don't want the house to be like scary. I want it to be like, you know, powerful type of vibe, very Fancy, they're nice. Although I don't want it to be too old fashioned either because I feel like a lot of Slytherin houses I've seen kind of go down the route of being old. So for this house, I'm going to be taking inspiration from obviously the Slytherin common room and also Malfoy Manor. Ooh, that's pretty. Just because it's Slytherin doesn't mean it's not cozy. I was just looking at some pictures of the Slytherin common room and it's actually really cozy. Like I wouldn't mind staying the night there. Will we have anything with a snake on though? I highly doubt that. For the Gryffindor house, I literally had only one thing that had a lion on and it, it wasn't great. I won't lie. <laughs> have a little death thing yeah why not i feel like the sim living here would obviously be a slytherin but i feel like they'd like showing off a bit because you know that's okay not all slytherins are like that you know we do have horace slogan who's not a very show-off person is he it's like not all gryffindors are brave have you met peter pettigrew Ugh, what a useless man have they got any green poofs oh do you know who we need on the wall where is he vlad I feel like he's the closest Salazar Slither is. Slither, that is a tongue twister. There we go, Vlad front and center. They love their pictures in Hogwarts, don't they? It's like pictures everywhere. Like I'm pretty sure they even have one of Anne Boleyn on the wall. And you know what we're gonna put in here? Fairy lights, because Slytherins love fairy lights. I'm putting it out there. I don't think a Slytherin's house would be that cluttered, to be honest. Like, I think they'd have obviously a few things here and there. But otherwise, I think they'd want to keep things pretty tidy. I say this, and then I just keep putting clutter items everywhere. <laughs> is it weird to have a favourite plant in The Sims? Because I think this is it. <gasps> and that is definitely a green. Oh my god, beautiful. Okay, here is my little living room. Not too much going on, but then you look up and there's pictures everywhere. <laughs> that is also pretty. You know what? We can use it. It doesn't have to be perfect, does it? I mean, I'm a spot ahead. Yes, it, it has to be perfect. But we'll make an exception. This is The Sims. Ooh! Oh, 
we could put this in instead. Oh my god, yeah, that that is better. We're having music. Love. Oh, there's a little green thing on there. Okay, fab, it'll do. Honestly, I they they would just have the creepy hand. I I know they would. Okay. Oh my god, a green pot. Beautiful. Okay, this area is done maybe for the hallway i'll put like a little rug down it right this is going to be the kitchen slash dining room and then we've got a tiny little bathroom here they would definitely have a grand table although whether i can actually fit one in because this is a tiny home i could fit a tiny one in here but slytherins don't do small go big or go home see Slytherin houses I feel like a lot of people use vampires and I get it obviously the vampire parks you know gives off Slytherin vibes but I want to be a little bit different so I might use these chairs Ooh, kitchen counters oh, the parenthood ones I'm in love although to be honest I haven't really got that much options they have green counters Ooh, I literally say that I don't use too much vampire stuff and then what do I do I put a vampire counter down because what we could do is have something like this where it's on the other side or maybe put the fridge in the corner. Okay, cute. We'll go for something like that because we do have to remember it's a tiny house. Oh, I need the sink. Damn it. Right. Uh... Okay, and then I'll only put like a little bit of clutter on there so they can actually still use it. Okay, I think that's going to have to be it for the kitchen just so they can actually use that spot. And yes, I have put a fruit bowl on top of the fridge. It looks nice. Maybe I can put like a little poop there. Oh, shit. I need door for that oh where am i gonna put that well that's gonna have to do right we need some books in here because what people don't know is slytherins are obviously really hard working and that means they're really good academically as well because if someone tells you you can't do something a slytherin is obviously gonna go screw you i'm gonna prove you wrong and i'm gonna read am i way into harry potter yes is it a problem no because i love it <laughs> yes i'm putting more fairy lights in and we won't speak of it again. I mean, we will when I put more fairy lights upstairs in the bedroom. There we go. And then a little rug to bring it all together. Maybe a few more pictures on these walls. I just feel because the walls are so high. Ooh, literally need pictures everywhere. Picture of murder on the wall. Yeah. Slytherin vibes. Oh, no, not someone kissing. Thank you. Okay, so there's no Slytherin vibes in the movie stuff hangout okay kitchen oh bloody hell this game does not want me to show you kitchen slash a dining room is done what do we think oh i haven't cluttered anything on here oh okay that's better <laughs> let's do the bathroom oh my god this bathroom is actually tiny oh no they would definitely have a modern bathroom like they would have the best of everything wouldn't they wait this might actually work can i put a sink in there oh it works I assume this is player friendly. I, I don't understand how it could not be, though it is The Sims. Can't even turn around. I am lost in my own bathroom. There you go, and the sink and the toilet, and I literally can't fit anything else in here. <laughs> okay, downstairs is done. Let's move on upstairs, and this is going to be the bedroom. And then I thought of having this, like, a drinking slash reading room. And then obviously you've got the balcony area here where they're just going to chill. And I feel like they would have windows all around this, so obviously they could see out onto the Black Lake, as they do in the books and films. I want this bit to be like the proper chilled reading nook slash a cheeky drink. <gasps> it fits! Oh my god and that's green. Okay I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to fit a bar in here that's for sure but I might find the I might find the shelves with the little bottles on. Where is that? Oh there we go VIP bucket fab. Oh my god what's that from? Get together oh this would be perfect but that blue thing i i can't deal with that and of course i'm gonna put cookies in because slytherins are not monsters and they love food and obviously we have to shove a load of pictures on the wall again i think i'm the issue at this point not slytherin to be honest <laughs> oh, i still realize i haven't put any snakes in i haven't been able to find any to be honest that's really sad the only thing they have is snake plants Aww. um okay we will have the snake plant then because that's that's all we're gonna get isn't it we'll have two. Oh, so pretty right let's move on to the bedroom oh my god i never think of the shape of the room i need to put a bed in uh will it double fit in i don't know i really should be more organized at this point with my bills but it's just it's never gonna happen is it oh my god the realm of magic has the perfect green Oh, but it doesn't fit 
da fuck's sake i'm sad now hold up she has got an idea yes oh beautiful nothing is going to ruin this build for me i refuse for it to happen they have every color but green we're not going to talk about the roof sticking out i just i'm refusing to acknowledge it can we maybe put a telly on the wall here oh my god i'm getting really sick of this game let me show you okay i put the tiny living telly in there beautiful of course they would have nice clean clothes laid out for them maybe i could like fit a desk here. Oh, are you gonna be able to get to their wardrobe like that? Oh, game really grinds my gears. I mean, we could swap them around. And they would definitely have the latest computer. Oh, that is so sleek. Oh my god, they have green ribbon. Of course they do. Okay, the bedroom is complete. That's all the rooms done now. Let's move out onto the balcony and then we finish the build. <laughs> is that going to look ridiculous if I put there? This class is ridiculous. Ooh, these are giving me Slytherin vibes. Yes, I love that. Maybe that's a little too much. Should we see what it looks like at night time? Oh my god, beautiful. So that's the end of the Slytherin tiny home. It actually didn't feel like a tiny home. I don't know why, but it felt absolutely massive. Let me know in the comments which room was your favourite. I think it has to be the living room. It's just, oh, it's so cosy and Slytherin like cosy vibes with a hint of death. <laughs> Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new. I will leave playlists down below if you want to check out my other Harry Potter challenges and I will see you in the next one soon. Bye. How the hell is Vlad a young adult? I need you, you need some moisturizer, Vlad.